Good morning guys, how are we all doing? I'm Dan from Trading with Dan. This is our Bitcoin morning update. Welcome to the weekend everybody. Hope you guys have got some exciting plans. Obviously England are playing tonight. Um, but yeah, anyway, this is our Bitcoin morning update and we shall go straight over to those Bitcoin 4 hour charts. Um, so yesterday, um, yesterday we were looking at um, having to hold this uh, support zone um, and move off it, which we are literally uh, just doing right now, which is obviously good to see. Um, we want to we want to get our way back up towards this thirty six thousand dollar level um, and well try and take it out. Um, obviously, weekend thinner markets, um, so if we are going to move in either direction, um, there will there will obviously be slightly uh, less less resistance, uh, less resistance just within the price ranges. Um, so yeah, um, looking we are looking to make a move up. You can see we obviously held this um, held this um, this uh, trend line that we've drawn in as well. So let's see how this plays out. But obviously things looking look not looking too bad. Quite a positive morning this morning. Even if we come up to our resistance zone, come back uh, potentially back test this trend line and then um, and then move on upwards through the six thousand. That would obviously be that would obviously be good to see. Um, if we go over to the Ethereum Bitcoin pairing, also obviously an indicator of health of the market, of health of the overall crypto market um, by by basically um, showing risk appetite. Um, what people uh, what people are willing to risk and obviously high risk cryptos, but yeah, you can see that it did get very nicely supported at our uh, at basically our support zone, um, and yeah, we're looking to looking to try and take this take this level out. So have we got a four check, a back check, and a, are we going to get a paycheck? um to the upside um we shall see but obviously it's good to see that we did hold this and are moving back upwards because if we lost this uh, like we said we'd be looking at basically lower lows um so yeah looking good so far so far so good um the uh usd pairing as well you can see held pretty much held its uh, well just about held its support um moving back above it so this now has obviously got well realistically next targets um, next targets towards well two and a half thousand. I mean this is relatively simple actually. We look at two and a half thousand, sorry, two thousand, two and a half thousand, three thousand ish. Um and then um and then obviously um I think we got up to about do we get about four and a half thousand? Yeah, not far off four and a half thousand. So but yeah, anyway, we got back into this range which we wanted to do. If we have got a a bump and run, a uh, slingshot reversal um, out of the underside of this range, back in, back to the top, and back onwards and upwards. Then all things will be, um, all things will be um, hunky dory. Um, Bitcoin dominance as well, as you can see, um, looking like it wants to um, give this area a test, and then ultimately potentially take out this uh, this horizontal. Uh, to the downside, which would obviously be good, obviously be bullish. I mean, this this horizontal here is quite important in the shorter term time frame. So if, yeah, if we do get back above here, then maybe we will just uh, trade this area out a bit longer, maybe come and test this trend line. But um, but well, I would like to say I'm more hopeful we come down. But um, Bitcoin is under pressure; it is bearish still. Um, we can't necessarily just expect we're gonna uh, we're gonna just start to um, go on another altcoin run, but it may happen. We it's not. I'm not saying it is not going to happen. I'm just saying we can't just expect it to happen um, as a, as a matter of course in the immediate term. Um, this is what we did want to see though. Um, the DXY um, as well. Obviously, we had this level drawn in. It do, It is looking like it has. Uh, it was basically testing above a potential, another potential swing failure um, uh, above our level, as you can see, but very swiftly um, rejected back below. And then, yeah, if we come back into this area again, then realistic, we'll be looking to come and test the downside. Um, and then if we take that out downwards, downwards into the depths of um, <laughs> of bullish risk asset heaven. So, um, yeah, that will obviously be good for uh, Bitcoin and, and basically everything. Um, obviously, we can see just just look at that. I mean, basically um what happened what happened here and with stocks was just the uh the jobs data was not so good um this is just a case of good news e bad news equals good news because uh, it just means the fed um whilst it was making indications it wanted to it wanted to raise rates by a teeny tiny bit in about three years time two to three years time um obviously that um will be made more difficult um with the jobs data not being so good because obviously the fed has a dual mandate of price stability and 
full employment um so because obviously that's what you want from your central bank isn't it the central bank to um to basically um control uh employment um doesn't that make a lot of sense anyway central banks are, are for the most for the most part are pretty much useless anyway they're a, they're a, just a propaganda mechanism central banks don't actually cre- create money they create bank reserves bank reserves then don't necessarily even get spent into the get find their way into the economy they have to basically uh, be find their way into the economy by banks lending so basically banks create money um because they then lend out that money and that's how the money comes into into the actual system um but that uh, basically isn't happening um and there's been a massive uh, massive uptick on the uh, on the reverse repo which has basically been um, put in the the, the making people wonder what's going on in the market why banks are all of a sudden wanting to park all this money in the reverse repo um but the reverse the whole thing is just a bit stupid basically the bank um the central banks are basically issuing bank reserves and then sucking them out overnight through reverse repo and it's just all a bit of a uh well a relatively pointless system um so yeah um but the point the point being um the fed is um just uh is just uh, ultimately the fed basically is going to be found out as the uh, emperor that is wearing no clothes and um, when the music stops people are going to realize that not only are there not enough chairs that there are no chairs um and um yeah and um, and it's all going to be uh, very interesting as we have uh, as we have price discovery um in all markets um anyway um, just went on a bit too long there, but yeah, basically this is coming down because the, oh, cause obviously things are not hon- things are not hunky dory, things are not good um, in the real economy, um, and the jobs figures, whilst they are not so good, um, they are heavily um, biased as long with all all numbers, all, all economic statistics. It's all basically propaganda. The whole system is just a giant um, crazy Ponzi scheme um, built on confidence, basically built on confidence. Ultimately, the dollar is built on the fact that it is backed by men with guns and and violence. All systems, all fiat systems, are backed by violence. The taxation system is ultimately backed by violence. You pay your uh, you pay your taxes to support that system, uh, or you end up in jail. And if you resist jail, then obviously violence takes you to jail. Um, so yeah. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, as a massive rant that was, wasn't it? So um let's uh, anyway but this is obviously looking good this is looking good obviously with the dollar coming down as you can see obviously why stocks are liking it it's just that case of um bad news is um bad news is good news um bad news is good news so far as um of these crazy markets are concerned um let's also um no, yeah nothing else we needed to look at on here it's kind of lost where i was <laughs> in my in my, my train of thought but yeah so yeah back to bitcoin bitcoin um yeah looking looking good here i mean uh i mean <laughs> uh if we wanted to speculate here maybe we pump up into this thirty six thousand, maybe we get a bit of a pullback and then maybe we break through um head towards the thirty eight thousand dollar level pullback and then carry on was not within this channel that is an ideal scenario um, we want this channel to take us all the way up to 42,000. Then potentially we drop it maybe back down to 36, get supported here and a big a big then pump up. That is what, is what we're looking for. Obviously, as we as we continue to, uh, if we continue to prove the, the, uh, the efficaciousness of this channel, it then will obviously become a risk whenever we come into to the downside of it. Because ultimately, we will, we, will probably, we will probably take out to the downside, probably, on the balance of probabilities. And then it's just a case of how far do we come down and where do we get caught and then do we make our way back up. Obviously, rising channels can break to the upside, and that very that may well happen. It's just um, it's just statistically more likely. But to be honest, um, Bitcoin relative to where it has been, if we are in a potential accumulation zone here, it has got it has got a chance of breaking to the upside. Um, so yeah, we could we could have that to look forward to. But I mean, ultimately ultimately we are just going to play these levels play these horizontals um it is all about the horizontal action um so yeah there we go um finally the stochastics how are how are they doing so yeah four hour basically um is now on the up on the rise so can this get us up to thirty six thousand? is it feeding food to the 10 hour and 12 hour yet 10 hour is looking to turn back up from a nice low level so i would um speculate postulate that if this does get going to the upside 
um, then it will bust us through 36,000, which is what we want to see. Uh, 12 hour potentially looking to turn back up and hold the bullish the bullish zone as well. Um, so if that just turn back up and get moving, yeah, we're going through that. We are coming through 36,000. Um, and daily is still looking good here, getting into the bullish zone as well. So now, whilst I look through this, this these stochastics, um, two day turning up here as well. Three day is still doing its thing. Five day down there, but obviously got potential. Weekly looking to turn up from a low level as well. Bi weekly still diving. Monthly will still be coming down as well. But I mean, how much can we look into those when we are analysing price action on a daily basis? So. This is not looking bad at all for a break above 36,000 and then potentially a test then all the way up to our 40 odd thousand. Um, do we get a pullback? How low is the pullback? And then do we get a uh, basically a turn back around and then take out 42,000? That is what we could have on the cards. That is what we could have on the cards. Some of these stochastics, especially the longer mid and longer term time frames are looking good um for that even if we even if it still takes time to grind out this level all that is going to happen is those higher time frames are going to turn back up and get moving up give us more momentum and eventually give us a good very good chance of well heading to what will either be the bull trap um maybe a pullback to around to basically this horizontal again 40,000 and then maybe we get support and there lots of maybes here lots of if buts and maybes but yeah and then maybe onwards and upwards to new all-time highs gold goldilocks scenario there for us guys we want to make a load of money into this bull trap um basically take some money off the table come back down pile it all back on at about 40,000 and then ride it out ride it all the way up to 150,000 plus bitcoin so there we go. We've got our marching orders. We know exactly what we're doing. Market market's sussed. We're all going to be uh, millionaires. And um, yeah, what more, do you, what more do you want from life? Um, so yeah, there we go. Anyway, so that is it. This is a, this is clearly uh, not financial advice or lifestyle advice or lifestyle coaching or anything like that. Um, this is just more crystal crystal ball um, gazing hopium and 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 whatnot but but hey this um, this market could very easily play out this way um, it is all uh, it would all look very normal in hindsight price action to do to do what we are looking at they are they are I, they are lots of long-term indicators that are suggesting Bitcoin has broken um, is is broken basically uh, the chart is broken and we're going to go into a bear market but at the end of the day they're gonna they are those indicators are going to look bad when we have such a swift 50 plus uh 50 plus uh percent pullback um but i would just look at um the more tradition the traditional markets um stock markets um and dollar uh, they don't look like they're going bearish or rolling over well not bearish but bearish for risk assets the dollar does potentially look like it's bearish still um, but they still look good for risk assets. Bitcoin is one of the riskiest of all risk assets. Um, so there's probably still more juice in this reflation stroke inflation trade. There is probably still the prospect of inflation. Um, well, not being transitory, as the Fed would say. Um, and then, yeah, all those things are potentially good for Bitcoin. So um, there is probably more juice left in this. Um, and that is that is where I'll leave it. So uh, thank you for listening, guys. Uh, this is not a financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Come on, England. Let's hope we can win tonight. Because if we win tonight, we've got definitely got the easier of the semi-finals. Whoever we have to have to play. Because um, um, Spain and Italy have each other in the other semi-finals. So one of them is gone, um, which is good. Which will be good to see. So then we'll hopefully have a final between us and Spain and Italy. And I mean, it will be a difficult game. But any game is winnable in football. Any game is winnable. Um, it's about taking your chances on the day. Um, and yeah, that's what's what knockout football is, and it could we could get lucky. So, but first and foremost, we've got to beat, uh, we've got to win tonight because um, it is not an, an it is not a um, it is not an easy game tonight. But yeah, anyway, thank you for listening, and I shall speak to you guys soon.